A common workflow in the iPad program is uh, to take a PDF file from something like Schoology, import it into Notability so that you can annotate it and write on it, and then upload it to Google Drive so that it's shared with the teacher. So this video is going to go through each of those steps. So I'm currently on a Schoology assignment. Uh, I'm in Chrome, my web browser of choice. Uh, this will work in the Schoology app as well. It's just got its own little quirks. Uh, and at the bottom of this page, you can see there's an attachment called Personal Project Readiness Questionnaire .pdf. So that's the PDF I want to use. So if I click on the link there, uh, you can see the PDF here. So this is the PDF that I want to import to Notability and start annotating. So uh, it might disappear um, as it has now, uh, but down the bottom I can get that open in menu. To get that back up again, I just single tap anywhere on the document and there it is. Single tap, open in, and I want to open in Notability. For me it's the second one on the list, I click that icon. We now go straight over to Notability. Uh, I have the option to create a new note or add this to an existing note if you are compiling several documents into one. I'm going to create a new note. I can choose just to use certain pages, but usually you'll want the whole document, so I'll get pages one and two and hit OK. So here we are, I'm in Notability, ready to annotate my document. Uh, up the top I've got a range of tools. The tool I want right now is the pencil. Uh, I can click on it again to change the size of my pencil and the color. Uh, I'm happy with it as it is. And in this particular case I'm just going to go through and circle the things on the questionnaire. Uh, I can zoom in using two finger pinch if that is easier and I can use two fingers to scroll down as well. Uh, up at the top here we've also got a text tool with the T. Uh, I can click that and then click anywhere in the document and I can now write text. So that's if you want to write lengthier reflections or something like that. Uh, and just above the keyboard I've got a whole range of tools like I can change the font size, the font color, add in bold or italics. So once I've finished going through and annotating my document, I now want to share it back to the teacher. In the top left hand corner you can see the share button. That's that box with the arrow coming out of it. If I click on that I get a whole range of options. I could email it to my teacher, I can use other, other tools. In this particular case we want Google Drive. Um, I get my Google Drive settings here. I can choose the folder I want to save it to. So you'd want to use the folder that you've already shared with your teacher. So that might be for Year 10 English, ENG 10 with your surname. Uh, I can choose whichever folder I want there. You might have to sign in at that point. You only have to do that the first time. Choose the format, uh, PDF, paper, leave it off, recordings, in this case leave it off. And the last step is send to Google Drive. When I click that it works away. And once it's finished working, the PDF document should have been uploaded to Google Drive so that your teacher can easily access it. I hope you found that straightforward so that you'll be able to complete that process easily in the future.